first stage to discover Blender for the first time. Maybe you wanted to make games, movies, or... So, you go to download the software. And it's free. Forever. You install it. You open it. It launches so fast. And now... How the fuck do I move? You soon realize that you need tutorials. Blender tutorial for beginners. And that's when you see him. The donut guy. You start watching his videos. He explains it so well. And although you get into problems, the comment section always had your back. Blender is so easy. I made a donut. That was easy. Now let's make something else. How the fuck? So you tell yourself that maybe you just need more tutorials? So you go on YouTube and start binging on every single Blender tutorial. And that's when you find him, Ducky 3D. He has tons of tutorials on how to make his scenes that look super good and easy to make. You start following them through, eventually finishing some of them or even posting them on your Instagram. Yeah, you may not get many likes, but still, it's pretty fun. Fun fact, I also don't get many likes. So if you could, you know, it's right there. Just, you know, just do it. Thanks. Please! Okay, now I'm ready to make something on my own. Oh my god. You soon realize that in order to get good at Blender, you need to stop watching tutorials this much and actually get to work. So, you do exactly that. Blender has been fun recently. You have made some works that you are pretty proud of. You look around and see yourself surrounded with art, and your Instagram feed is full of people just like you. But they make money. You realize that if you want to spend 8 hours a day making stuff in Blender, you might as well look for turning it into an income. Otherwise, there is a high chance that you might go homeless. That's why you start searching for ways to make money. You think of doing freelance, making games, getting hired in a studio, or becoming a Blender YouTuber. You begin debating on learning a new software. Substance Painter, ZBrush, Marvelous Designer. And after a lot of research and hitting your head on the wall, you finally figure it out. You end up doing this for your whole life. It provides you, gives you fulfillment, maybe even fame. Blender is now your whole freaking life, and you enjoy it. Mostly.